So today uh, we are here at Laval uh, with another installation of uh, air-cooled Genevac generator. This is a 26 kilowatt um, air-cooled uh, and we are feeding the whole house. Uh, so the heating system is electric and we are feeding uh, everything in the house during the power failure. Uh, so the customer uh, had three hours of uh, no power today uh, so that we do the job but then he's secured for the rest of the winters uh, that are coming um, whenever he's gonna see this uh, green light on the generator he has the peace of mind that if there is a power failure he's gonna have everything functional in the house he's not gonna be worried anymore uh, we started about 9.30 today, right now it's 12.10. Uh, In about an hour we should be able to finalize it and give the power back to the house. We try to um, uh, coordinate with the customer for the location, for the trench that he needs to do. And they did it perfectly. So they did a, they did a really nice uh, trench here and the propane tanks are going to be all the way at the back. Um, every limitation that uh, Generac is, has asked and the, by the code of the uh, Generac and the natural gas uh, sorry, the code of the propane uh, has been fulfilled and uh, there is no problem with this the distances between, between the doors we have uh, the transfer switch it's uh, almost done, it's 90% is done um, we had to do some modifications in order to be able to install the transfer switch. Uh, it was uh, nice and clean. Um, um, it was pretty straightforward. Um, the modules are getting installed uh, in the house to postpone some big items. And then uh, in about an hour, we are going to be able to hear the beautiful sound of the generator that ensures everything is good and ready to go. Did you see our video still? Yeah. Yeah? I saw some of your videos. Yeah. Some of your installations. Yeah. He's the director. Oh, who's the director? He's the yeah, director. He's the producer director. Yeah, he's the producer, yeah. 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 Hey, but you're the star. <laughs> <laughs> you're the star. <laughs> You guys have a pretty good uh, system for acknowledging the requests, responding, Excellent. having a, a professional uh, checklist. A um, you have a template for your responses. It's not just yeah, okay, we'll come. It's like we know how what to do. We need all this information. Right. Uh, that gives people confidence right. that you know exactly what it is With that you're doing. Right. You know exactly what it is that they're asking for, right. as so. opposed to. 
never getting back to them. Yeah, I'll get back to you. Like I tried many others and they don't even respond. Yeah, so it's really encouraging when we get a nice feedback from the customers and the suggestions. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, yeah, the way they did uh, find us, how did they trust us, what was the uh, factors that they were looking for in order to uh, proceed with this installation and with our company specifically. Uh, it's really helpful and uh, yeah, it makes us you know uh, happy and encourages us to continue what we are doing. <laughs> So this one we put it number eight. The other one we are going to put number one. Uh, what it does is that after five minutes the heat pump is going to start. Another forty seconds. So each number is five seconds. So when we put it number eight, it's another forty seconds. Forty seconds. This so guy is so five seconds and, and forty. Five minutes. Oh, plus after five seconds. Plus sec another forty seconds. Okay. Is this guy so that the heat pump starts? It's stable. Okay. Then hit uh, hot water tank. So five minutes on the nose heat pump, five minutes and 40 seconds hot, hot water, water tank. tank. Okay. If it's overloading, it's going to postpone it for 30 minutes. What will overload? Let's say this one. So we, so this module is monitoring the frequency. Okay. okay. If the frequency is fluctuating. So have you, you have a question? Uh, may I put them in this separate? Definitely. Volume? Yeah. Um, so it's monitoring the frequency. Okay. If it's drop, if the fr frequency is going up and down, it's going to turn off the last item, which is number eight. It's still fluctuating. The other one. Both are going to be off. Try again in 30 minutes. Uh, the rest of the house is going to be functional. So 30 minutes again. First heat pump is going to start. Another 40 seconds. How, how do the two of them communicate? Um, it's wireless. Technically, they don't communicate. What it does is that number eight goes off first. It's still fluctuating. Number seven, there is no number seven here. Number six, it goes on and on till there is no more fluctuating. It's still fluctuating. It's not going to happen. The generator goes off. Okay. okay. To protect itself. Okay. Very good. Uh, then what else? So then after thirty minutes, it's going to try again overloading. It's going to keep it off till hydro comes back. So it tries two times. And then it stops. It stops. If you want to reset it, you can turn off and on the breaker of, let's say, the hot water tank. Okay. Well, and it's going to do it one more time. Okay, get it. Two more times. Okay. Yeah, right. The same, the same cycle. Same cycle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the, we don't have uh, electric furnace. So we have a heat pump. We have fridge freezer and baseboard heaters. So in that five minutes or 30 minutes, the house is going to be warm enough. Then there is enough power for the hot water tank and the heat. Yes, assuming it's assuming they're all pulling in the winter. Yeah, I get, I get it. Okay, very good. If again, something is overloading, then we have to see what it is. Um, in your case, uh, I'm pretty sure nothing else is going to happen. You're protected. But if ever, uh, that's why I ask if the pool is working, no, if there is any hot top, um, no. sauna. So let's say if they put the dryer on, the stove is on, yeah. and they put a cake in the, the <laughs> oven, then it's going to overload. They, right. Then you know yeah, yeah, I get uh, that uh, that's I, the thing. So the lights are the, dimming the, and the you... The family will have, I, I have to educate them about when we lose power. It's, it's not, not everything. It's not the usual. True, yes. Yeah. Uh, this is a good 26 kilowatt, gives you 100 amp. That's pretty good. But I mean, it's still, it's not 200 amp. I the main is 200. Yeah, understood.
uh, today we had another 26 kilowatt uh, unit to install. The job is done, connections are done. And it was a straightforward project. Uh, they did really a nice coordination with us uh, to do the trench for the location. Everything was prepared. And uh, we had a little bit of surprise at the very end. We had some sort of rain, but we were already done. So we did the clean up and we were about to leave. Uh, we wish them all the best and they're going to have peace of mind for this winter.